truth are just this. Amen. Amen. Let the peace of Christ rule your heart. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. And whatever you do, do everything to the glory of God. Once again, I welcome you to the presence of God. And I say, Happy New Year to you all. This year shall be your year of shining glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We will be having the service of the Holy Communion. And come with me to the PCP, page 170. Page 170, PCP. I will bless the Lord at all times. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. This is the day the Lord has made. We call it for purity together. Almighty God, Gloria in Exorcist together. These great people are not not born in the world. They want to do it. 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 Okay, one seven four. Our Lord Jesus Christ said. Hear, yeah, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and the second is like, namely this, you shall love your neighbor as your son. There is no other commandment greater than this. On these two commandments and all the prophets and the Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sin, to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandment and to live in love and peace with all people, meekly kneeling upon our name. As we take the prayer on page 176. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our people in thought, in word, and deed. Negligence through weakness through our own deliberate fault. We have not sufficiently walked according to the mind of Christ. We have named the name of Christ as not the pastor for his with you. We are truly sorry and repent of all of our sins for the sake of your son Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is done. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The collect for the first Sunday 
after Christmas. The epistle and the gospel. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given us your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him and to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that we who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the same Spirit, one God, now and forever. <laughs> Let the seated for the reading of the epistle. Praise the Lord. The epistle is written in the Romans chapter 4, beginning at verse 8. Blessed is the one who sees the Lord will never count against them. Is this blessedness only for the circumcised or also for the uncircumcised? We have been saying that Abraham's faith was credited to him as righteousness. You know what circumstances was it credited? Was it after? He was circumcised or before. It was not after, but before. And he received circumcision as a sign, a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. So that he is the father of all who believe but have not been circumcised in order that righteousness might be credited to them. And he is then also the father of the circumcised, who not only are circumcised, but who also follow in the footstep of the faith that our father Abraham had before he was circumcised. It was not through the Lord that Abraham and his offspring received the promise that he would be heir of the world, the true the righteousness that comes by faith. For if those who depend on the law are heirs, faith means nothing, and the promise is worthless. This is the word of God.
holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke, chapter 2, beginning at verse 21. Glory to Christ our Savior. On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise the child, he was named Jesus, the name the angel had given him before he was conceived. When the time came for the purification rites required by the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him in law, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of doves or two young teacher. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ.
Praise the Lord. Please be seated. I encourage those who are closer to the uh, windows to uh, give us more light by filling up the up the, the light. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Once again, let me say Happy New Year to you. Thank you, children. I can hear children's voices. God bless you in Jesus' name. Turn with me to Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4, verse 12 and verse 13. Romans 12, chapter 4, verse 12 and verse 13. Are you opening your Bible? This is a new year. You must carry your Bible. Hallelujah. And Abraham is then also the father of the circumcised, who not only are circumcised, but who also follow in the footsteps of the faith that our father Abraham had before he was circumcised. It was not through the law that Abraham and his offspring received the promise that he would be here of the world, but through the righteousness that comes by faith. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, we are grateful that you have brought us to the beginning of another year. It is not by power, it's not by might. It is not by our expertise, it is not by, by what we know, but you kept us safe. Thank you, O oh Lord, for your enabling grace. Father, it is time to speak your word. We pray that you will speak to us in the language you can understand. Let your word give us life. Help us to understand your plans for us, even for this year as we navigate it. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. When we were reading the scripture, the gospel that was read to us in Luke chapter 2, verse 21, the Bible says, and on the eighth day, Jesus Christ was given a name. There was a christening, a naming ceremony. And Jesus was named Jesus, which means Savior. It is my prayer today that today be the eighth day we celebrated Christmas. The Lord is giving you a new name. The Lord is giving you a new name to survive, to be glorious, and to make it in life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That this year, this year is very, very a special one that starts on a Sunday. And I want to believe that there shall be celebration in your life and your and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so once again, I welcome you to year 2023. Happy and prosperous new year to you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me also remind you that God has declared this year, year 2023, our year of shining glory. And it is my prayer that you and every member of your family and every member of this church, we shall henceforth celebrate and have our, our glory shining in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Have you ever been outside when the sun is very, very hot? Have you ever tried to look directly to the sun? That is what we are talking about. The glory that can never be hidden. Have you seen where light is concealed? As we open the blind, we could see the light, even from outside. 
And it is my prayer that this year, henceforth, the glory of the Lord shall be revealed in you. Nothing shall hide you. Nothing shall dim your light. Nothing shall, shall hinder your, your progress in the name of Jesus Christ. For this ministration, our theme is following God's leading all the time. Following God's leading all the time. This is a very good thing that we start with. It's a very good, it's, it, this is a very good thing to start a new year with. I follow God, follow God's leading all the time. Our God is the one that knows the end before the beginning. Many people used to say, God knows the end from the beginning, but I always say, no, God knows the end before the beginning. So our God has gone ahead of us to this year, 2023. He has used January 1 to December 31. He knows what is there. He knows what he has in store for us. And I believe that his presence is with us here in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our God knows the road that we are going to apply this year. And he is ready to help us to navigate it. And I pray you will not lose focus from Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When I say you will not lose focus, I know what I'm saying. Let me give you a scenario. I was following somebody in, in Nigeria. I was driving. Somebody was taking me, me somewhere to visit a member of the church. And we were on the express. And this man forgot that he was even leading me. He, he just sped off. Before I could catch him up, he was long gone. And I started to search for my, myself, where, how can I get where I'm going? So don't lose sight of the one God Almighty who is leading you. In all our life and devil, God's plan for us this year onward is to make us to experience good success. That there is success, there is good success. Is deeper. It is my prayer that you will have good success this year onward in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good success shall find expression in every one of us, individually, as a family, as a church, and as a community. We shall surely shine gloriously, spiritually, physically, maritally, financially, socially, and in education. We shall shine. Tell yourself, I will shine gloriously. Every day when you wake up, when you look at yourself in the mirror, when you wake up when you are praying, when you wake up when you are in the bath, when you wake up when you are on your way to, to work or to school, when you, are, when you wake up every day, tell yourself and, and beat your chest with confidence. I know that this is my year of shining glory. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is the plan of God for us. <laughs> and we have to take the step we need to take. We have a path or a road to play. We are expected to follow God's leading all the time. Let me tell you this. It is not easy to follow God's leading. Let me say it again. It is not easy to follow God all the time. It takes commitment. It takes decision. It takes absolute obedience to follow Christ, to follow God's leading. Can you imagine when the Israelites were coming out of Egypt, and God said, the way I want to take you is through the Red Sea. Are you kidding me? Red Sea. And Red Sea, Red sea could stand for of trouble or difficulty. 
to step into the river. But when he says, go, go. When he says, come, come. The Bible says, there is a way that looks good to human beings. But the end of it is what? Destruction. This is one of the reasons why the Bible is telling us that God is asking us to commit our way to the Lord. We trust in him. And he will do that which we are talking about. I see God doing greater things in your life this year. But we need to follow him. We need to obey him. For us to succeed and experience good success and shine gloriously, we must consciously follow the timetable of God. God's timetable is secure, is better and reliable. And one of the things I've noted in the life of human beings is the ability to be able to wait for God to fulfill his will. Many people will tell you, will say, God's timing is not fast. God is too slow. God is too slow for my liking. And that is why you see many people going to the apathist, going to spiritualist, entering into witchcraft, and doing all sorts of things because they believe God is too slow for their liking. <coughs> Somebody who is leading you and, and you be in the front. You are, for, you are leading him. Unfortunately, a lot of people miss their blessings because they cannot wait for God. Because they cannot follow him. Is God too slow? No. Abacom chapter 2 verse 3 encourages us by saying, but the revelation of waste and protection is speaks of the hand and will not prove false, though it lingers, though it looks too slow, though it is not happily so soon. Wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. It is my prayer that this year your blessing will not delay to arrive to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. When you start the scriptures and you look at people like Daniel, you see that Daniel, as a man of God, prayed. And God said, what did he say? He prayed, God answered. But it took 21 days before he, he received the, 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 the testimony. Why? There were forces, there were, there were spiritual reality and parts that hindered the answer prayer. The angel of good news was bringing the good news. But that was if the prince of Persia represented the devil and his cause, departed him. But it took Angel Michael with his sword to battle the devil and, the, and his cause. It is my prayer that what the testimonies of the Bible is here that terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. That testimony shall arrive without further delay. That glory shall arrive without further delay. That blessing shall That grace shall arrive without further delay. That conception shall come without further delay. That finding your sweeter shall never delay. It shall come. That celebration you have been dreaming about, you have been desiring, shall come. That great joy, that, that good thing shall surely come. Though it lingers, wait for it. It will certainly come and with no delay. Nothing will delay your shining glory this year in the name of Jesus Christ. That was 
They experienced Abraham and Sarah. All right. You know their story. At 75, God called him. Hey, Abraham. And he changed his name to Abraham. I'm going to give you a child. Even as I'm going to take you to a promised land, a promised land he never knew. He didn't, he didn't know the he, he didn't know the location. It was promised. God was willing him for the promised land. And he was promising him and his wife, biological son. And when Abraham was 99 years of age, God spoke to him again in Genesis chapter, chapter 17, that look, I'm going to give you a son, a your own biological son, Sarah. And when Abraham heard of it, in Genesis chapter 17, verse 17, the Bible says, Abraham fell face down. He laughed. Why? He laughed and said to himself, Will a son be born to a man a hundred years old? Will Sarah be a child at the age of 90? <clears throat> Is anything too difficult for God to do? What is that thing? That to fact, this is difficult for me. That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called Jehovah. What you say you will do, that is what you will do. That is what you will do. Has he ever promised and not fulfilled it? But God answered Abraham in Genesis chapter 17, verse 21. And God said, But my covenant I will establish with Isaac, whom Sarah will bear to you. There is appointed time for everything. And God has declared that this is a potent time for every one of us to shine in our glory. So shall it be in Jesus' name. You are potent time to receive mercy. You are potent time to shine as God. This is your year of shining glory. And so the epistle we read. In Romans chapter 4, verse 8 to verse 14, gives us a kind of explanation of the faith of Abraham, the kind of faith Abraham exhibited. God therefore counted Abraham's faith as righteousness. May God count your faith as righteousness and bless you this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Even though he was full of age, he waited patiently for the fulfilling of God's will. Apostle Paul, in Romans chapter 14, verse 12, and verse 13, that we speak as our text for this message, notes that those who follow in the footsteps of Abraham's faith share in his blessing. Those who follow in the step of the kind of faith that Abraham had also share in his blessing. Even though you have not seen it, yet you believe it is existing. They will receive the righteousness that comes from our faith. And they will receive the blessing that comes from our righteousness. As Christians, we have been called to portray Christ and show the world who Jesus Christ is. Our lives must showcase Jesus Christ this year and always. Several times, God declared and promised his people that his presence shall go with them 
and give them rest. It is my prayer that the presence of God shall go with you this year and grant you rest. If you are writing something down, such passages where God promised his presence and, and rest is, could be found in Exodus chapter 33, verse 14, and Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6 and verse 8. Exodus 33, verse 14, and Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6 and verse 8. And people like Moses also pray for the presence of God to be with them on their journey. We can see such reference in Exodus chapter 33, verse 15 and verse 16, and chapter 34, verse 9. And in the New Testament, when Jesus Christ called his disciples, he asked them, follow me. Follow me. The person following is to come behind the person leading. Is that correct? And it is expected that the person leading is the one that is going to And have the understanding of what to be done. That the one leading knows the road. It is our obedience to try to rule our lives and to lead us. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and and life. The Bible says there is no one that can enter into the eternal kingdom of. Except through Jesus Christ. Let me ask you this question. Have you given your life to Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Have you surrendered to Jesus Christ to, to start leaving you? Have you allowed Jesus Christ to be your guide? Will you allow? To guide your deeds. The thoughts became words, and words became action. Will you allow Jesus Christ to direct you? Will you allow him to lead you in your choices and your preferences? When there are conflicting ideas, will you allow the Holy Spirit to sort this for you and guide you? As youth members who love sports, will you prefer coming to church to going for your sports? I see how, how people, how parents and youth members are very serious about their, about their sports, going for their practices. How are we? We put such more effort to come into church, Bible study, prayer meeting, and allow God to lead us. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know they are right before God. They don't know the word of God. And so when trouble comes, because they don't have the word of God to lead them, because they are not in Christ, they are easily taken up. The, the, the track of following Christ. Know this for sure, brethren in the Lord, that when we follow God's leading, we shall surely have positive testimonies in Him. That song, that hymn we, we, we sang before the ministration of the world, when we walk with the Lord in the light of His world, what a glory! is shed on our ways. The year of our shining glory. While we do his good will, he abides with us still. And with all who trust and obey. Pass through that place. That's where you should go. 
I remember 1988, I attended international conference of Boss Brigade, Nigeria, in Chile Hills, in Jos. And I remember that exactly 175 campus, Boss Brigade of Nigeria, went to the hill to climb the mountain. And I remember that there was a guide that was given to us. He was in the front. At a certain time, there was a very serious darkness through the cave, through the through that hill. We were entering into through it to get to the top. And unfortunately, not many of us got there. I think about 75 of, out of us. 175 go to the top. And by that, by that we were looking down from, from that top. Trailer, this tanker looked like shuttles, uh, like, like a, 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 a picnic uh, a thing. And I remember when we were looking the guy who would shout, keep left, keep left, because we were so better that if you keep right, you can sleep and I don't fall, they will not see you. Is that so? The, the, the guy will be shouting, keep left. And, and I remember we all put our hands on the next person's shoulder, the, the, the person in the front, like blind men. Keep left, watch your step. So when the guy mentioned it, the next person will. We echo it, echo it until we get to the last person. And I see, even in, in America, one movie that I love to watch, when military are engaging in a battle, they look for the sign of their leader to, to, to give them the sign to engage. They don't, they don't just shoot. They don't just they follow their master. Where we walk in the Lord, in the light of his world, what a glory he shares on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still. And with all what we trust and obey. As I want to conclude, there are people of God let me encourage you that as you are navigating this new year, 2023, and throughout your life, allow Jesus Christ, allow Jesus Christ to lead you. No matter the change, or on sure the road they do, let us be at rest and at peace. That because Jesus is in our boat, there shall be no casualty. There shall be no problem. Something just came to my mind. When in 2018, God told me, I'm sending to you to, to Canada as a missionary. And I remember I met with my bishop, with my wife. We went to the bishop. After we had prayed and got conviction that God was really leading us. And I said, sir, God is telling us to go to Canada as, as missionary. We want to receive your blessing before we go. And the bishop said, who am I to say no when God is saying yes? And until uh, 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 May, 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 until May or June of that year, 2029, 20, 2019, before he, he gave me his a letter of consent. And you know what is surprising there? I have been posted to Canada 
So I can dance of the West even before I renew my passport. So I'll be posted out of my station because God is taking me to Canada as a missionary. Even though I have not renewed my passport, I was not having visa on it. <laughs> it looked as if I was, I was playing with my life, you know. But I knew God would send me somewhere. And this church was established 2018, the year God was telling me I'm sending you to Canada. And by the time I came, just towards my coming, my movement to, to it was Toronto, the plan was to Tabernacle in Toronto. But a few days, God turned the whole thing and said, Calgary. Our Savior and Church Calgary. I didn't even know our Savior and Church Calgary. I'm saying this to you to know that God can be leading you and you may not have the full picture until you see the, the whole story unfolding. And I remember when I came, I traveled on the 7th and came and I got to Toronto on the 8th. Listen to this story. So that we know that God is in charge of our lives. The first time I applied for my visa, I was denied. Yeah. Until the second time. So I, I traveled from Nigeria on the 7th, got to Toronto on the 8th, and got to Calgary on the 9th. Are you following? On the 10th, Papa and Mama were helping to nurture this church at that time, returned to Nigeria permanently. Are you still God working? Speaking with me in Nigeria, I'm telling you to, 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 to Canada. The church here was prayed. The altar must not be empty. People have given me that testimonies of their prayers. And God was just setting things. Is there something God is leading you to do this year? Don't be afraid. He will lead you. The storm shall be calm. Jesus is in your boat. Rock and roll. You will get there safely. And we shall end this year safely. It's my prayer that this year shall be more glorious. It shall surely be our year of shining glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at yourself. Happy New Year. Please turn with me to day two of our bulletin as we pray. Father God Almighty, we are grateful that we have you as our guide and our God. Help us to follow you. Leading you lead. Help us to follow your leading at all times. Help us to have good relationship with you in Christ Jesus. We pray that you will remove every form of fear, every form of distraction, and the trick of the devil away from us. Help us to enter into eternity with you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. There is a song on page two. Can we be on our feet and sing it together? Where he leads me, I will follow. If I'm not having a copy, take it from 
Gentiles of the church.
178 of the discipline. In a secret. We believe in one God. The Lord be with you. Please let's sit or kneel and let us pray. Page one eight of this. Page one eight. In the power of the Holy Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Hear our prayers, O Lord our God. Hear us, O Lord. Govern and direct your holy church. Fill it with love and truth. And grant it that unity which is your way. Give us boldness to pray the gospel in all the world and to make disciples of all the nations. Enlighten your ministers with knowledge and understanding. That by their teachings and their lives, they may proclaim your word. Yes. Give your people grace to hear and receive your word and to bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. Bring into the way of truth all who have heard and are the same. Yes. Strengthen those who stand, comfort and help the faith at it. Break all the fallen and finally beat down Satan under our feet. Yeah. Guide the leaders of the nations into the way of peace and justice. Yeah. Bless your servant, the prime minister of this nation, and guide him with your heavenly wisdom. Yeah. And do with grace, wisdom, and understanding those who are in political offices in our land and in the nations of the world. Let the judges and magistrates and all who administer the law that they may uphold justice, honesty, and truth. Yes. Teach us to use the fruits of the earth to your glory and for the good of all mankind. Yes. Bless and keep all your people. Yes. Help and comfort the lonely, the bereaved, and your friends. Yes. Keep in safety those who travel and all who are in danger. Yes. Heal the sick in body and mind and spirit, and provide for the homeless, the hungry, and the destitute. Yes. Show your pity on prisoners and refugees, and all who are in trouble. Yes. Forgive our enemies, persecutors and slanderers, and turn their hearts. Yes. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ, both those who have confessed the faith 
and those whose faith is known to you alone, and grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Yeah. Father, you hear those who pray in the name of your Son. Grant that what we have asked in faith will be obtained according to your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we continue in the mode of prayer, brethren, the Lord, this is the first day of the year and the beginning of another year. I want you to tell it to God, Lord, lead me. Where you lead me, I will follow. Ask God to lead you this year to your grace, to your mercy, to your favor, to your good success. Ask Him to lead you. When you are scouting around to, 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 to achieve greatness and nobody is leading you, it's difficult. But when God is leading you, things will work well with you. Ask God, Lord, lead me. Lead me this year. Lead my family. I accept Jesus to be my guide. Guide me, O oh Lord. Lead me, O oh Lord. Lead my children, lead my family. Lead everyone that's connected with me. Ask God to lead you. Invite him afresh into your life. Lead me, O oh Lord. Lead me, O oh Lord. Ask God, what is that thing you desire God to do for you? Ask him that in his name should we achieve it. Ask him to guide your life. The year 2023 shall be our year of glorious shining in the Lord. Ask God that this year shall be our year of shining glory. Lead me, lead my family, lead our church, lead our nations, lead us, O oh Lord. Today is the eighth day after Christmas, and Jesus was named Jesus. Ask God, give me a new name. Change my, my story to testimony. Let the glory of the Lord be revealed in me. Ask God, ask God. I give you my life. I surrender unto you. I surrender unto you. I give you my life. Give me the platform to praise you this year. Give me the platform to worship you. Thank you, my goodness, and bless you. You have brought us so far. Show yourself strong on our behalf. Thank you for your kind of grace. We pray, O oh God, that you grant us the spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge into mysteries and secrets. That we may know your calling and sin in our lives. Go for it. Grant it occupy and fulfill all what you have called us for and send us here on earth for. 
so that when you come in your glory, we shall be found blameless in our three souls and body. We make it in peace. Almighty God, may we increase your wisdom that we need and guide us into all prosperity, even as you have safely brought us into this year. May you uphold thy people with thy right hand of righteousness, O God. That we may live a life of dignity, a life of the liberty of the sons of God to be fulfilled according to your perfect will, sending us, O God. Thank you for helping us to know our race, to chart the course of our race, to fully run our race, to finish it, and to give faith. That when you will come back in that glory, you will find us faithful servant, and we shall be able to receive our crown. Receive all the and glory, O oh God. Blessing of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. And so, Father, according to your word, we have come to be anointed at the beginning of another year, at the beginning of another month. Father, we present this oil and we certify it that we make it to become anointing oil that as many that we shall anoint today and always shall receive your grace. And we plead, O oh Lord, that every one of us who continue to abide in your will. Lord, we connect our family members, our spouses, our children, our families, everyone, and all the members of this church to us today. That as we anoint each other in your presence, yeah. Lord, we pray that we may our lives will be better and this year and as for shall be our season, our year of shining glory. Father, I stand as you have come in to serve in this church at this time as the rector of the church. Father, I pray that you will sanctify me. That Lord, I will also have proof to show for it that you are the Lord. Let this year be unto me the year of my shining glory and for my own family too. Father, King of glory, I bring before you your son. I pray, O oh Lord, that as you have brought to your son, this year shall be also the year of his shining glory. And glory of the Lord shall be revealed in you and your family in the name of Jesus. Father, as we anoint your children, we pray, O Lord, that you will prepare us, fill us with your spirit, O Lord, that we will not do it just for being sake. But Lord, there will be a divine emancipation, a divine deliverance, a divine visitation, a divine turn around, a divine blessing upon everyone. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The clergy wives to come forward. The clergy wives. The newly will Portugal join them too.
Track of following you. We will continue to follow you. And Lord, we will come back to praise you. You will give us the platform to praise you this year. You will give us the platform to worship you this year. Father, you will turn this around for our good. Whatever the enemy meant for evil shall be a stepping stone, even for our greatness. And for our announcement as, as great and having good success. Let this be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, is there any way? Any one of us is passing through a situation that is untoward. Father, we pray that you will lead such a person of that dungeon in the name of Jesus Christ. You will give solution. You will bring about deliverance. You will bring about blessing. Lord, you will lead every one of us to, to, to the cold water. And Lord, we will have our peace. We will have our joy. Lord, we lead us to our great pasture that we will be able to say, now I am comfortable. Let this be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father, because you are God. Father, we pray for every member of this church, those who are present now and those who are not here, those who have traveled and those who are yet to join us, every member of our families, we bring before you, O Lord. We are not everyone, and we say, this year shall be our year of shining glory. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. To possess your possession. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. A round of applause to God Almighty. Open time, blessing time. We give you thanks, O Lord God Almighty, as your people will be bringing forth they are that and they are offering in appreciation of all the good things you have done for them last year and also to have victoriously ushered us into this 2023. Being the supply to all our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus, we declare that our cups shall continue to run over and you shall set tables for us before our enemies and we shall be called blessings. May you accept now the offerings and part of your people, bless them, and also grant them in the top a hundredfold in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
Christ is our peace. He has reconciled all to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. My hand chapters, my hand chapters, seed of blessings of the Lord. Anyone I will. 
Surely more bless. My hands are filled with the blessings of the Lord. With the blessings of the Lord. Page 187 of the DC. Just Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, and the, ma and the majesty. So we meet with me to page one and one. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is very neat and right. And our bond being guilty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, O Lord. Holy Father, Almighty and Everlasting God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, through whom you did create the heavens and the heart and all that is in them, and did make man in your own image. And when he, he had fallen into sin, did redeem him to be the first fruit of a new creation. Lord, we thank you for bringing us to a new year, the beginning of a new time, the year of our shining glory. And now we give you thanks because in the incarnation of the world, a new light has dawned upon the world. You have become one with us, that we might become one with you in your glorious kingdom. Therefore, with angels and archangels. Truly, holy, truly blessed are you, O heavenly Father, who of your tender love towards mankind did give your only Son Jesus Christ to be to take our nature upon him and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered in true perfect. And sufficient sacrifice, oblation and, satis and satisfaction of the sins of the old world, and did institute and in his gospel command us to continue a perpetual memorial of his precious death until his coming again, who in the same night that he was betrayed. He took the bread. And when he has given thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it. This is my body, which is given for you. Do it in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, 
He gave it to them, say, bring this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. We are for O Father, having in remembrance the precious death and passion and glorious resurrection and ascension of your Son, our Lord. We, your servant, do this in remembrance of Him, as He had commanded until His coming again, giving thanks to you for the perfect remission which you have wrought for us in Him. And we must humbly pray you, O merciful Father, to sanctify with your Holy Spirit us and your own gifts of bread and wine, that the bread which we break may be the communion of the body of Christ, and the cup which we bless may be the communion of the blood of Christ. Grant that being joined together in him, we may all attain to the unity of the faith unto him who is the head, him of Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto you, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Jesus, Lamb of God. Jesus, hearer of our sins. Jesus, Redeemer of the world. Let's live as we pray the prayer of comfort together. We do not repeat. Draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which He gave for you, and His blood, which He shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that He died for you, and feed on Him in your heart by faith. With thanksgiving. The body of Christ Jesus. The blood of Christ Jesus. The ushers will guide people at the cross of all. The close who are found.
God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. Now that we have received the body and blood of Jesus, we have the boldness to pray the prayer Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, the prayer of the one who sits together. Praise the Lord. Any of you this before? Hallelujah. The Lord is good. All the time. Today is the first day in the month of January and the first day in the year. Praise the Lord. Uh, the December children, we have you in mind. God be with you in Jesus' name. <laughs> If you are December children or you were there in December, can you be on your feet and wait to the Lord? Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this, your children. We say we are going to celebrate them again and again until they have their cake. Father, we thank you because we are celebrating them again today. And we still celebrate them. When we are celebrating one of us, we'll be celebrating our birthday in a, in a grand way. Father, we pray that your glory will continue to abide with these, your children in the name of Jesus. And for those who are just children and their wedding is generally happening for you, and the of the Lord shall reach you, and the glory of the Lord shall be upon you. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Let's, let every one of us be on our feet as we sing the song of you. Now, thank you for giving us the courage to even come to church after the crossover service. Thank you, oh Lord, for giving us this commitment. We have started well. Let it continue great, oh Lord. The Lord who has testimonies this year, Lord, the people who testify to your goodness, and your name alone shall be glorified. As many people that need our prayer, Father, we pray that we pray for them. Let there be joy in our families, in our church, in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and mind in the knowledge and the love of God and of the Son Jesus Christ, our Lord. And in the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and forevermore. Thank you. 
name God has answered you, and that this is your year of shining glory. Can we shout three thunderous hallelujah? Where to go? Once again, I want to say thank you very much, everybody, for coming to church today. It is nice seeing you. I want to encourage you to continue. Why you are great. Thank you very much for your support. The director of music, everybody, the audience, everybody, thank you for coming to church. I appreciate you. And those who help us to, 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 to set the church, thank you very much. God bless you all in Jesus' name. We have started. We have started well, and the Lord will see us through in Jesus' name. Just a quick reminder before, okay, before the quick reminder, we want to welcome those who are worshiping with us for the first time. We want to welcome you into our midst. Whether your husband was here last time and you are you are just joining him to come to church today, or you are just coming for the first time, please can you be on your feet? We want to welcome you. Yes. I know there are some people. Yes. Is there another person? Help me look around. Is there another person? All right. We want to welcome you, Ma, and our baby. And we say the Lord be with you. This land shall favor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we pray that the goodness of the, of the Lord will continue to abide with you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. You are welcome in the name. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see the Lord you, the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We Thank you. God bless you, Jesus' name. Uh, please, uh, the ushers and the and the um, uh, people in charge of uh, welfare and visitation will see you after the service, and they will give you uh, a, uh, one or two forms to fill. Please kindly fill it. And please, if you if you are yet to fill such a form, please fill it so that we can have your data in our church database and be able to reach out to you at any time. And if you change your address, please send your new address to me so that I will be able to update our database. So I will not just want to visit you and go to a wrong place. God bless you in Jesus' name. A quick reminder. Uh, remember, God gave us an assignment that every month, every family should pray together for the first three three uh, days, and that if your, your children or your family or your spouse is away, try to connect. Give, just choose any time of the night and you pray together. It doesn't matter how long you want to pray together, but ensure you pray together. And the focus is agreement prayer of deliverance, of worship and victory. Those are the words I receive from God. I pray that the testimony of shining glory shall be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Please listen to this announcement. Next Sunday, there is going to be a different in our schedule. If you look at item number three in the bulletin, in the announcement, the uh, uh, lady Uche, Okeke, and family and the children are remembering the transition to glory of Sir Dr. Engineer Theophilus Okeke, uh, who are going to rest since six months ago. And uh, because of the space, you know, our building is very big. Uh, it can contain thousands of people. <laughs> I mean, so because of the space, uh, we don't want to keep people in the cold. And uh, we agree to it that we will have the service in the place we had our harvest last year. 
But for, because of that church also is having their own service. Uh, I think around 10 or 11. And uh, we will not be able to have the space for 10 o'clock. Hence, for next Sunday, for next Sunday service alone, we will have our service at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. at uh, Grace Presbyterian Church, 1009 15 Avenue Southwest. Uh, please look at number three of the of the uh, announcement in the bulletin is very, very essential. Uh, we will not want anybody to, to come to church here and feel disappointed that we are not here. We will still armor it and uh, remind us of it uh, on our church was, was that platform. Please bear this in mind. And I sent out an uh, email to everybody. If you did not receive it, please kindly send me a direct message and give me your correct email address with your name. And your phone number so that I can send messages directly to you from the church uh, uh, email address. Please help us to nurture this, this church to higher ground. Also, by God's grace, as the Lord has led us this year, January 6th, Friday, this Friday, we will be having a retreat. We'll be having a retreat. What is retreat? A church retreat is a time before the Lord, when we leave every other activities and concentrate to be in the Lord, to retrace our steps and to refire ourselves. So please, it's a time to prepare ourselves for the journey. The journey of this year is going to be great and good, but we need to be on the, in, in the right vehicle, in the right plane. Don't take the plane going to uh, 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 London. Where, Whereas we are going to Toronto. So please uh, let us have this mind and let us come together. If it's a time to refer ourselves, this Friday is going to will be the time we normally meet for our prayers on Fridays at uh, 8 o'clock. But it's going to extend just two hours before we know it, we will complete it. It's a time of the Lord. The Lord has, has prepared us for this and please be part of it. It's going to be on the Zoom, the same Zoom link you used yesterday to and last year to, to join uh, the crossover service. Please be, bear that in mind. God bless you in Jesus' name. And by God's grace, one of us uh, will, be, will be marking a birthday. Uh, the, 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 the person is very, very young. Uh, very, very young. Very, very young. Maybe, maybe she is the youngest. I think she, she should be the youngest in, in our church at the moment. Uh, I, will, I will mention her name, but if you look around and you see somebody's gray hair, very deep, you know that is the person I'm talking about. Uh, by God's grace, on the 15th of uh, January, we will call out to the altar to pray for her, especially. Uh, please, if you need counseling, prayer, or uh, spiritual care, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my number is the last uh, line before uh, the, the greetings for, for the year. You can reach out to me very quickly. And please check number seven of the announcement, and you see the, 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 the program of our job. Please don't lose this uh, 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 bulletin. Take it home so that you can follow the, the, uh, the plan for the year. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Once again, Happy New Year to you all in Jesus' name. God bless you. We we'll draw in.
go in peace to love and serve the Lord. 